All right, so now that we're, uh, we've are finished our drawing, we can actually go and start to think about 3D printing. So one, probably the quickest and easiest way is just to select, drag and select everything, go to File, and we are going to export this as a .stl file. Um, you can use um, you know several different ones, but I'm just going to do .stl. It's going to be in my downloads folder. Um, completed. We now have to convert this STL file to G code. So G code is going to require us to actually basically like give the directions for the 3D printer on how how it should or how we want it to print. Um, so one of the programs that works quite well is UL Ultimaker Cura. And you can download this and you can kind of set this up. So download that app. Um, it's, it's quite, you know, quite simple uh, on your computer. It's pretty useful. Uh, and so we can click that. We can open this software. And again, you need to coordinate. Um, if you would like to 3D print your objects, we want to definitely make sure to coordinate this with uh, basically your lab instructor um, or get you access to our maker space so that you can go ahead and uh, print. And it should be free to print for our uh, for students that are taking this class. Later, um, as long as you provide your own 3D uh, filament, you should be able to uh, print for free um, as of this taping. Uh, <laughs> so that, that's an important caveat um, to definitely to ensure. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here we go. It's loading it up. Very exciting part of the video. Uh, but you can kind of see this. Uh, again, the big thing is in terms of your class, though, is ensure that you complete the drawing, make sure your instructor, um, your lab instructor checks it off, and then obviously that you upload it and make sure you get full credit for it. Um, it's really, really important that you get familiar with some of the software and some of this, you know, mechanical engineering graphics and drawing um, because you'll use it quite a bit. So when you open up the software, you want to add your printer. Um, and our printer currently that we're using is this Prosa, uh, Prosa i3, MK3, MK3S. Um, typically, we're just using PLA uh, in terms of our material for printing. It's a polymeric material, obviously, because thermosets for uh, printers. And what's nice about this is you can kind of see um, basically your object. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a file. We're going to open the STL that we just created. And we can do kind of really cool, fun stuff too. But... Not that this isn't fun. And there you go. Your print's ready to go. You want to just kind of verify so we can hopefully see what we got here. Uh, but we've got our prints. We should be able to see hopefully this. We can see the slices and you can see how long it's approximately going to take. Um, so that is pretty much it. And you can kind of set some of the settings. You can make it fine. Um, you can change some of the densities, supports, adhesion. Um, but again, these are all pretty much you know standard. So that's it. That's what we got. Um, so you want to save this to basically it's a G code. So you want to save this like on a thumb drive, and then you're going to want to um, basically then go in and start to uh, basically convert that to one of our micro SD cards, and we're gonna see that in the next video and how you wanna set up um, the 3D printer. Now, one thing that you can kind of maybe think about or anticipate something that can go wrong um, is sometimes when it prints, it gets stuck here. So if you're having trouble with your prints, it may be beneficial for you to do um, the following trick. And it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit arduous. Um, but you can kind of select some different things. So, for example, we can get rid. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, I think we may have to edit our video just a little bit. Uh -oh. We are going to have to actually... We're gonna have to go back later. I, I I thought I saw that issue. Um, so it looks like it may not have. Again, it's the same concept, but I don't think we cut into. We didn't 
create a separate part for this. Um, oh, that's too bad for, but well, again, we'll, we'll go ahead and fix that a little bit later uh, on the engraving. I think I misclicked when I did, actually, we can do this right now. Actually, it gives us a nice opportunity. So we can go ahead and actually, you can, let's get our selects going on here. You can select some of these objects. Actually, within the base, we're going to find some bodies. So you can actually see some of the bodies that you're working with. So for example, body three, four, five, probably, seven, eight. Oops. No, we want this one. I don't want that. Don't want this. I do want the seven. And I want this. So actually, I can delete those right now. So let's say I want to, uh, actually, let's say I don't want to see this. So I want to keep this. Let's see. What's our other big body? So let's see. Exactly. So what we can do is we can go ahead and say, for example, file, export, and I can say, for example, I'm going to export nuts. So I'm gonna export that, complete, great. And then I can go into here. For example, I can take this part and just remove it. And now I can file open and I can just place those nut files right there. And you can move these and put them in different locations as well. So you can see we have the free move. So you can arrange it, you know, again, where you want on the 3D print to basically move it around. You can see I can grab and drag it. You can rotate, you can flip it. Um, but again, basically, if you don't want those parts to stick to each other, you may kind of separate them out into kind of useful useful components. So when I'm looking at this, I may want to separate out, for example, oops, not that. Um, so I may want to separate out now my, basically, I can now, let's go to, whoops, not that. I may want to do now file export uh, base and then I may want to hide all of this and then I may want to actually this and then I could go ahead and go here and here. Um, however, one of the things that I want to fix right now is I'm going to hide this and I'm going to go to, I'm going to fix what I didn't do here, I'm going to create uh, my sketch. I'm going to create my text. Right here, I'm going to do CPH. Actually, where did that go? Just to make sure we have it, and to show you that CPH, I'm going to do my other text, this, good, and I'm going to take this and this and extrude. Distance. Ah, see, I can do cut. Excuse me. I needed to do that operation. So hopefully, again, you'll watch both videos. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, I won't hold it against you if you don't. Uh, but I'm going to cut through minus two millimeters, and then now I should be okay to go. There we go. Now, doesn't that look much better? I knew something was a little bit off. But we can see now, and you can see that cut going through uh, right here. So, uh, but basically now what you can do is you can kind of separate all of that good stuff, and now I can say file export, uh, for example, gears, or just gears. And then we can put them all, actually we can go like this, we can put them all now, file, open files, and I'm just going to grab gears, base, we already have the nuts there, and now I can move, for example, let's move this guy over here, and maybe just right here, and then move this here, and see now, you see when I was putting it here, it was giving me, it's making me a little bit concerned, we can look at the top now, and you can see all this good stuff, here you go, so I'm actually going to slice it right now, and I'm going to, I'm looking around for my thumb drive. I'm going to save it right now to my thumb drive. And then we can go ahead and get started on 3D printing this one. And then we're going to be, which I'm going to do it right now, strike while the iron's hot. I'm going to save this. Save it to my, even though there's a problem. Save it. And there we go. So it's just saved there. Got my G code. And we should be ready to roll. So um, now we're going to go and we'll actually 3D print this. So see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.